Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy Krug and the 2022 AP Chemistry Fear Response Questions have been released and today I'm working on question four. So let's take a look at this one and let's see how you did on this one. Now just a disclaimer, I'm not the college board, I'm not AP. I'm just an AP Chemistry teacher who's been teaching uh, AP Chemistry successfully to hundreds of students over the past 22 years. So I'm going to take my shot at this one and we'll see how our answers compare. Sometimes College Board gives answers that are a little different than mine and sometimes I just get the wrong answer. So let's just see how I do. Number four here, we have these two compounds NH2Cl and NCl3 and we have the Lewis electron dot diagrams given here. And part A tells us uh, that we have one liter of a solution in which the concentration of the NH2Cl is 0 0.0016 grams per liter. So all we have to do is take uh, this 0 0.0016 grams per one liter, and we have to convert that to moles. So all we have to do is put grams on the bottom and one mole on top. And they were nice enough to tell us the molar mass. It's actually 51.48 grams per mole in that compound. We can cancel. And then when you divide this, you find the moles per liter. So that's how many moles are present in one liter of the solution. So that's about 3.1 times 10 to the negative fifth moles of NH2Cl in 1.0 liter of that solution. So that's your answer and I think that's going to be a one-pointer for that one. Now part B tells us about the relative solubility of these substances in water. It says NH2Cl is very soluble in water whereas NCl3 is not very soluble at all and it wants an explanation in terms of types and relative strengths of the intermolecular forces between each of the solutes and water. So let's start with the NH2Cl. Now what you want to look for is, you might notice that there is an NH bond right here. So that tells us right there that the NH2Cl, you know, the, that, the, the, the alarm bell that should go off there is that there's a hydrogen bond there. Anytime that there's an NH, uh, an OH, or an FH bond, there's hydrogen bonding taking place. So that means NH2Cl is able to hydrogen bond with water. And so that's one thing that you want to say. By the way, that's a very uh, strong force. And so that means that normally anything that can hydrogen bond with water is going to be very soluble. On the other hand, in Cl3, this nitrogen trichloride doesn't have that hydrogen bonding taking place. And so the NCl3, it is a polar molecule. And so, you know, it's, it has a dipole there. Uh, water is a polar molecule. So it can have a dipole-dipole force. And so NCl3 exhibits dipole-dipole forces with water, which are much weaker. And so the hydrogen bond is a, fa a fairly strong force. So we'll say that here, which is a, let's say a relatively strong uh, intermolecular force there. So we can say that as a result, I always want to talk about the result here, as a result, uh, NH2Cl dissolves much more readily in water, much more readily in water than the nitrogen trichloride. So you uh, you need to talk about the the types of forces that are there, and then the result there. And so uh, I would say this is probably going to be a two pointer. I'm not exactly sure how they would award these points, but I would probably say that the NH2Cl having hydrogen bonding and the NCl3 having dipole-dipole forces would get you one point. And then I would guess that saying that hydrogen bonding would be stronger 
then the dipole-dipole forces making it dissolve more readily would be your, your second point on that one. So once again, I'm not completely sure how they break that down, but that's my wild guess here. Now, part C, we have how much energy is required to vaporize a 15.0 gram sample of nitrogen trichloride. This is a, this is a simple um, dimensional analysis question. So we just take the 15.0 grams of nitrogen trichloride and step one, always convert to moles. When in doubt, convert to moles. So one mole on top and then 120.36 grams on the bottom. Grams will cancel. We're in moles of nitrogen trichloride and we can convert to kilojoules using this conversion factor right here. We can put moles on the bottom and kilojoules on top. And it says that the, the, the heat of vaporization for this is 32.9 kilojoules per mole. So we put that in there. Moles are out and we do the multiplication and division. The answer I get is about 4.11 kilojoules. And so that is the answer there. So we'll say one point for that one. So once again, four points on that question. We had a nice variety of questions. Hope you learned something. Hope you got them all right. Even if you didn't, I hope you learned the chemistry behind this. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please give me a, a thumbs up if you'd be so kind as to do so. Uh, and subscribe to my channel because I have the entire AP Chemistry course video on here. All of my classroom videos that will take you from the very beginning to the very end of the course. Uh, step by step. Thanks for watching and join me again where we can learn some more chemistry together.